What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over NEO stock. Now, NEO just got a very interesting update. Now, this news hasn't really trickled over into the United States news feeds yet, so we're going to get the information pretty quick. Uh, it's going to be quicker than pretty much everybody else has gotten this information, but make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you get all of the necessary information that you're going to need to trade NEO stock this week. So if we go over and take a look at the chart of NEO, we can see that it had a pretty substantial run up back in October and November, had a pretty decent sell off, then rallied back up. And then throughout the end of 2020, the last couple of days, it had a bit of a sell off. Now, the reason for that sell off was mainly institutional rebalancing, nothing to do with NEO as a company. It received a couple of bank downgrades just because it had run up so much in the past. And then it had its NEO day on January 9th. And we saw an absolutely insane insane run up from about the $44 range to about the mid 60s. And then once this information kind of dissipated and investors got all of the information that they needed, NEO kind of sold off and came back down to the 5627 mark. Now, as we can see, NEO runs up, sells off, kind of gains support at a higher level than it was at uh, before. And was, as we saw here, it ran up, came down, and I think NEO is going to find support anywhere between this $56 range and $53. I don't think it can go any lower than that, unless there's some very bad news that comes out about NEO. Now, somebody on a NEO subreddit posted a very interesting article. Now, this article is in Chinese, but when you translate it into English, we can see that NEO is bidding for its manufacturing base, and the new base construction site is located in the section of, I don't really know how to pronounce this, so uh, economic development zone. So according to the 60-day planned construction period shown in the bidding document, it is expected that the second factory will be completed and put into production within this year. Now, this is very important. NEO has done an amazing job of increasing the growth of delivery and sales numbers throughout 2020. They were up about 100% on the year, which is pretty amazing. Now, if you watched my last video about NEO, I went over a pretty substantial price target uh, based on the valuation of NEO based on its delivery sales. Now, I went into detail about saying that basically the delivery sales numbers of electric vehicle companies are important when using traditional valuation measures, but they're not the end-all be-all of uh, figuring out an exact valuation for these companies. If we take a look at Tesla, we can see that Tesla has a valuation of about over $1 million per vehicle sold. So it's not just the vehicle actual sales numbers that are driving the valuation of these companies. It is the new technology that they, they are able to develop, to develop and put into their vehicles. Now, if Neo can get this new manufacturing factory up and running throughout 2021, and there is still a very high demand for their vehicles, we're going to see Neo aggressively ramp up their production of their cars and we could see a maybe even 200% increase in delivery numbers throughout 2021 through 2022 would which would be absolutely amazing for the company and it would send the valuation going sky high. If we go back to the chart of Neo, we can see that it had a pretty substantial sell off on the last trading day which was Friday. It was down about 7.5%. Now, this happened for a couple of reasons. What mainly came out was that the uh, co-founder of NEO is now working for a different electric vehicle manufacturing company in China, but this individual has not worked for NEO for about the past two or three years, so this really isn't that big of a deal. So this dip on NEO, I think is going to get bought up a lot on Tuesday. Now, in addition to the extra Chinese uh, factory that NEO is going to produce in 2021, according to this article, NEO is also looking to expand into the European market, which I think is an unbelievable idea for this company. They're thinking of creating a factory in Denmark, so they're going to have a full distribution chain in Europe, which should boost their valuation because they're going to be making more vehicle sales. So we can see these sales numbers grow up an extreme amount over the next year or two. Now, the only other electric 
electric vehicle company right now in China that has made any progress in expanding into the European market is Xpeng. And as of right now, they've only delivered about 100 vehicles directly to their consumers in Europe. Now, this was completed uh, basically by Christmas. It was a week long process of getting the vehicles to their customers. But as of right now, Xpeng has not said anything about their uh, willingness uh, to expand into the European market by creating a factory, maybe dealerships or charging stations in the near future. NIO also has announced that they are going to have 100 battery swap stations in China uh, going into 2021. Now that's going to be very important because if you have an older NIO model that has maybe the 70 kilowatt hour battery or the 100 kilowatt hour battery, you can go and to go to one of these swap stations and it's pretty much automatic from what I've seen. You just pull your car into the station, you click one button and the whole swap process is very seamless and you can drive your car out right away. In addition to these different updates on Neo Day, Neo also unveiled a partnership with the chip, chip maker NVIDIA, and that will basically help them uh, develop their automated driving capabilities in order to uh, have a autonomous driving software. Neo has basically already said that they are going to be partnering uh, with Mobileye to have a robo taxi in Tel Aviv in the coming years, which is going to be a very interesting update. Right now, Neo also has the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, which gives the vehicle a range of about 1,000 kilometers, putting it in the top spot of all of the electric vehicle companies in the world today. So NEO is doing a great job of their technological advancement and innovation at the current time. Now, NEO also followed up their NEO Day event with a pretty massive capital raise. Now, this is not a direct share offering that is going to dilute shares. It's going to be a $1.3 billion uh, convertible debt raise. So this is actually pretty bullish uh, for NEO. We're going to get the details of uh, this actual capital raise in a few weeks, most likely. Uh, but this is actually pretty bullish for the company. And they are going to be uh, offering these notes for 2024 and I think a separate year as well. I think it was either 2023 or 2025. And the actual actual amount of the notes is going to be split between the two dates and both the dates will have different benefits uh, in terms of what the buyers of what these notes will receive. Most likely they're going to both be convertible for actual equity in NEO, which is a pretty good sign. So we're going to see a lot of buying pressure in NEO in the near future, uh, mainly in 2024. Now, if we do some option chain analysis on NEO, we can see that this is the February 19th expiration date. It's the monthly expiration date for February, and the implied volatility on this option chain is still pretty high. They've added a bunch of these uh, strikes in here, so there's not really uh, any information on them as of yet, but we'll, these will probably update on the next trading day, so we'll be able to kind of figure out more about the open interest and volume of these contracts tomorrow. So basically, uh, the open interest is still very high on on this option chain, a lot of options traders are betting on a bullish move in NEO in the near future. We can see that about 35,000 of these contracts are being held in people's brokerage accounts for the $60 strike. And these are very expensive contracts. Now, NEO has a, these contracts have a bit of time. Um, and they still have a very high implied volatility, but 560 is a very expensive price for an option contract, uh, especially with a stock that is not super uh, high in price. If we take a look at the puts, we can also see that there is a pretty decent open interest on the puts, uh, but not as much nearly as the calls. So in general, I think NEO is going to have an unbelievable 2021. They're doing everything right in terms of being in a newer electric vehicle company. They keep coming out with better technology Technology. It's actually the best technology on the market. They're going to be a direct competitor of Tesla with their new ET7. And Tesla has said that about 47% of all of their vehicle sales will come from China in the coming years. So with NEO coming out with a uh, model that is very competitive in terms of how it looks, the technology in it, and the price point of the vehicle, we could see NEO siphon off a little bit of Tesla's market share in China and in the European market as well once they start uh, really ramping up their sales over in Europe. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what I had for you in this one, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me get this information out to as many people as possible. You get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and get to see what options I am trading on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I hope we all have a very profitable week coming up tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the next video.